Um, I think politicians should work towards abolishing the market for fracking. Um, not necessarily as like an immediate change, but to work towards the eventual elimination of fracking. Um, just because I think a lot of people are concerned with uh, the job market and what that's going to do to a lot of people's livelihoods. Um, but also like to ease these people who are worried about this, um, I think that politicians should also prioritize creating more zero emissions jobs. Um, you know, that being that offering more of an incentive to get others on board with this idea of getting rid of fracking. Um. Okay, I think that we should enforce more policies, but they are achievable. But the thing is, yes, there is a part of which is the politician that should do something, but people should also acknowledge that they have to change their way of life. So, yes, politicians have a huge part of this, but because of the lobbies. I think part of the big problem is like we keep putting the onus on individual people to make the presumption that, you know, a household of five has the same like contribution towards basically destroying the planet as one of thousands of corporations does. I think it's hugely problematic. We keep passing the buck. And the problem is that politicians want to keep the same type of narrative versus actually looking at the source of our major pollutants the industries that are really destroying the planet, mining for things that we don't need anymore, like, hang on. But in large, I really don't believe that politicians are going to do anything to make changes to stop global warming um, until the people stop putting all responsibility on themselves and really start pushing it back to where it originated.